Praise the Lord. Can we lift our hands to the Lord? Can I have some more in the monitors? If you're on the sound, if you can turn the monitors up a little bit. Let's just invite the Holy Spirit. The anointing is falling already. Just pray in the Holy Ghost for a minute. Lift your hands. The Holy Spirit is walking in here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just lift your hands to the boss. He's the boss, you know, he's the boss. He's the boss, he's my boss. <laughs> All right, you can have your blessed seats. I feel very constrained for time. I don't have much time. I'll have to have another time when I have more time. Can you say amen? Uh, can you say amen? amen? I felt like if I only have a minute or two, I'm just going to say hello. Let's invite the Holy Spirit. I'll show you my great new book. And I take my seat. <laughs> but uh, let me share a couple of things. Amen. How many want to hear from heaven? I hope you're not religious and you're lost. Are you here? Look this way. Are you here? You see me? Can you see me? Then you can see him. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God is doing some amazing things. I first want to give honor to God Almighty for his great calling, the great mission that he's ordained for me to travel the entire world. I think I've been now in 32 countries of the world already. That's not that many, but it's a few, and on all six continents of the world. And the Lord's had me had put my blessed feet on millions of miles of travel around the planet by airlines, by crusades, television, you know. It's been, uh, it's been a journey. Now in Africa, how many know it's time for Africa to rise and shine? How many know it's time for Africa to rise up now? How many know it's time for Kenya? Don't be lost in, the, in where you've been. You've got to step up into where God wants to take you now. It's a higher place. Can you say amen? amen? Only those who operate in the power of the mind of God can do anything good for anybody. Write that down. Only those who operate in the mind of God can do anything good for anybody else, even for you yourself. You need God's mind to be in you. Put your hand on your head and say, Lord, please put your mind in my mind. First Corinthians 2.16, I have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ, he said. And 2 Corinthians 10, 3, 4, and 5 said, to cast down every vain imagination and exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ. The, the knowledge of Christ is to walk in victory and dominion. How many know that? To walk in victory and dominion on the earth. That's your place. But most people do not do that at all. They don't do it at all. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I repent for being behind. Oh yes, I repent for being behind. We, we need to talk like that to God. Say, God, please catch me up. Say, Lord, please speed up things for me. Say, Lord, please, I'm going to speed up. Come on, tell him. Are you sitting there looking at something? Are you awake yet? I was awake. I only slept two hours this morning. My, I'm such on such a busy schedule. And I was here before everybody. So wake up, lift your hands. I was here before everybody. I was the first one here.
The power of God wants to fill people. But can he fill you? Can he? I heard one lady say yes. I didn't hear any men say anything. Are you hearing me okay? Can God fill you? Wow. Are you sure? Okay. Lift your hands and say, Lord, use me. Fill me. Hallelujah. Shayate Sayato Sukutala. The first place to become anything great, you have to be filled with the mind of God, then the Holy Spirit, His power, and then you can do something. And the unfortunate thing is, many people play all kinds of evil games because. They're not filled with God. They're full of other things. They're full of themselves. They're full of culture. They're full of the devil sometimes. <laughs> and uh, in the church, especially, there's been so much division. But how many know God wants to cancel it out? Come on, say amen. God wants to cancel out the divisions, the, the hatred, all the problems that have been happening. God wants to cancel them out. Lift your hands. And the only way it can happen is through true leadership rising up, full of the Spirit of God, which is the Spirit of love. And I want to I uh, give honor to Archbishop Harrison Dana, who wrote the foreword to my great book here, and he published it for me. And this is just a great seed, and we've been connected, doing so many things together. And I've been preaching in his church many times, and uh, of course I'll be going again soon. And uh, this is just uh, a phenomenal uh, encyclopedia of information about success. Well, the boss is arriving. Here he is. See, I'm, I'm calling his name, and there he comes. See? <laughs> I didn't see. Come on, clap your hands. That's, a, uh, that's prophetic. <laughs> I did not see the car. I did not see the car. And when I said his name, the people were still here. Now half the crowd is gone. It's okay, all right? Praise the Lord. But God spoke to me uh, several things. In fact, he's used me to deliver thousands of prophecies to the nations of the world. And probably over 1,000 written prophecies to the nation of Kenya. And uh, it's, been, it's been very supernatural. So there's about, I'll, I'll just give you five quick things, okay? That the Lord said. Number one, he said a new movement is coming into Kenya. I prophesied this in August of 2022 at the Nation Center uh, in Nairobi. And the Lord said, I am breathing a new wind and pouring out a new visitation and movement in the nation of Kenya, into the city of Nairobi, in the nation of Kenya. The second thing he said was, Whoever stands against it will fall and not get up again. This time, this movement will not be stopped. Let's welcome the Archbishop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate our Papa. Amen. Can we lift our hands to the Lord? Amen. Wonderful. The third thing God said was economic breakthrough is coming. How many know you need some economic breakthrough? If you're going to accomplish anything for the advancing of the kingdom, you need a lot of money. You need a lot of resources. You need a lot of ability to put things together. You need teams of people. You need equipment. You need buildings. You need facilities. You need networks. You need help. You need people. And the Lord says, I want to give that to, to my elect now. We're going to begin to see God raising people. The fourth thing he said was this is going to be the day of mega churches. Churches are going to expand from the thousands into the tens of thousands. And let me prophesy here. From the tens of thousands into the hundreds of thousands. I don't know where the buildings are going to be where we're going to house the amounts of people for the harvest that's going to come in. But the Lord says, I want millions of people to be discipled in this day and we're going to see that come to pass. Lift your hands right now. God is going to have buildings
he's erected and built all over the land and men that he's chosen to be faithful are going to be put into positions as the angels of houses all over the nation of Kenya, all over Africa, all over the land. And we're going to begin to see the fire of heaven come and move to bring mass deliverance, the breaking of the spirit of poverty, the breaking of corruption in the government, the, the even the appointment of heaven upon some government people. God says, I'm going to save them. I'm going to appear to them like I appeared to Saul of Tarsus and turned him into Paul. God says, even people in the government are going to be turned around and they're going to stop stealing and they're going to start providing and serving. Lift your hands right now. There's going to be an entire revolution in this nation and everything's going to change for the better. And we're going to begin to see it happen. Just pray in the Holy Ghost over this for a minute. I heard the Lord say millions of dollars are coming to, into the hands, into my hands. And I, know, I don't know if you want yours, but I got mine. Millions and millions of dollars. Millions and millions. Not just a few, but many coming into the hands of people to build and expand and advance the kingdom see the favor of God to make us wealthy, to make us rich. Another thing the Lord said, he reminded me of the scripture in Isaiah 45, 2 and 3, hidden riches, treasures from all kinds of places I'll give you. And by this you'll know that I'm the Lord your God who even calls you by your own name. Lift your hands. Let's stand on your feet. I don't have time. I'm going to drop the mic here. We'll pick it up. I need more time. But the Lord says, get ready for the outpouring of heaven. Get ready for the new thing. Get ready for the new movement. Get ready for new breakthrough in every possible way. You're going to begin to see it. And the Lord says, I'm with those that are with me. And I love you very much, says the Spirit of the Lord. I'm Thomas Matthew the Fourth. More later, God bless you. God bless you. Can you give the Lord a hand of praise? Amen. Who's taking this mic? I love you all.